<laughs> they about to see what? Their favorite YouTuber get beat. Get beat up. Take an L. Play with yourself. Don't play with me. Okay, look. going to be a little different than my previous videos because I'm not doing a um, hair tutorial or anything today I'm just strictly talking about the products that I use in my hair and um, I'm really just gonna give you the rundown of everything that I use the products and the tools and I'm gonna let you guys know if I like them if I don't like them if I need them replaced and if I need them replaced sis sis If I need a product replaces, help me. If I need something replaced and you have a holy grail product, don't be selfish. Just don't. Help help me, okay? So anyway, let's just jump right into it. So the first product that I want to talk about is my shampoo and conditioner. And I actually don't have them here with me because I'm in the process of moving. So it's at my old house. But um, the shampoo and the conditioner that I use are the Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I'll put a picture somewhere. And they come in a yellow... Like, ugh, I can't... Was that even English? Anyways, so they come in a yellow bottle. And um, yeah, they come in a yellow bottle. And I love them. I love, love, love my shampoo and conditioner. I am a shampoo girl. I don't co-wash my hair. Um, I only co-wash my weaves, not my natural hair though. I strictly shampoo my natural hair because I do I do shampoo every other week and by the time that it's time for me to wash my hair, I do have a lot of buildup and I feel like shampoo does a really good job of, you know, eliminating that, especially my Garnier Fructis shampoo. It does so, 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 so well with cleansing my hair and cleansing my scalp, okay? And then the conditioner does an even better job of coming back and replacing all the moisture that I lost from the shampoo. They work really, really well together and they smell incredible. So, yes, I'm, I love them. <laughs> but um, the next product that I'm going to talk about is this... Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I think I've mentioned in a previous video that I do do the LCO method. And um, the first step in the LCO method is the L, which stands for liquid. That's this right here. Um, this product, I need it replaced. This product does absolutely nothing for my hair at all. It this is the first product that I put on my hair after it's been washed and conditioned and it does nothing. I feel like as a leave-in conditioner, you know, like pause, as a conditioner period, the job is to moisturize my hair, replace moisture, add moisture, etc., etc. No, that's not what happens with this. I feel like water does a better job of adding moisture back into my hair than this does, okay? Like, all I do with this is just spray it for the fragrance of black vanilla. No. So, if you guys have any products, um, e any liquid leave-in conditioners that you use that are your holy grail that you just love, and they leave your hair just so moisturized, sis. Help. Help me, okay? Please. Help us out. So the next product that I use in the LCL method is the C, which is my cream. And I use the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. And I'm sure you have seen this product about 5,000 times on YouTube because dang on near every YouTuber uses this stuff, but for good reason. This stuff really, y'all, I can't even say enough good things about this stuff. It smells so good. It does its job so well. Like, it's a it's 
not too thick and it's not too thin either it's very creamy um it feels like butter like when you rub it together it feels like butter it feels like butter in my hair too and it really really does a good job of moisturizing my hair on the tube it says that it defines moisturize and strengthens strands i don't use this as a styler um i strictly use this to moisturize my hair and it really does its job well i i've tried other moisturizers but i always come back to this one because it's the truth so the next product that i use in my lco method is oil and um i use the jamaican black castor oil um, I don't really have a specific brand of Jamaican black castor oil that I use. I just use Jamaican black castor oil, period, wherever I can find it from. And I love this oil. It's I use it as my sealant, and it's really thick. It's a very, very thick consistency, and I love that so much. I feel like with this thick consistency, my moisture ain't going nowhere, okay? It's trapped. Like, it's locked up and it ain't getting out no time soon i also put this on my edges because it is supposed to um help strengthen the hair and yeah you see this my edges really need it so we be out here um i actually i think it was last week i went swimming and to coat my hair like just to um protect it from chlorine I switched it up and I tried olive oil and olive oil really worked really nice in my hair as well it left it very very soft and very moisturized so after I finish using the rest of this I'm gonna try olive oil and then see which one I like better out of the two so the next product that I'm gonna use, uh, talk about not use <laughs> is my do grow mega thick formula hair oil okay this oil i only use it on my scalp um i use it to oil my scalp and this is actually my first whole bottle of it so i can't really say too much um about if it does what it says it's supposed to do it says it's supposed to promote thick strong healthy hair thickens and strengthens weak damaged hair it has shea butter vitamin and botanical thickeners tames frizz adds shine helps reduce breakage and allows hair to grow longer. So I haven't used it long enough to tell you if it's, you know, allowing my hair to grow longer and stronger and thicker and all that great stuff. But um, as for my scalp, I don't really have a dry scalp or anything like that. And I usually only <clears throat> oil my scalp once a week. So, I mean, for that, it does its job. My scalp isn't really itchy or anything like that more than normal um i don't use this on the rest of my hair so i can't tell you if it tames frizz or adds shine but after a couple more bottles i will be able to tell you if it helps promote growth so the next product that i'm going to talk about is my miss jesse's transitioners magic okay so i used this in my last video and i mixed it with um, a hair serum that I'll talk about later in this video and I love this stuff this stuff is so amazing like I use it for um, a mini twist hairstyle as a as a styler obviously and my hair was so moisturized so shiny and so plump like I was amazed and this is actually like the twist out from the um mini twist right here and my hair is still like it still feels so soft and moisturized and all i've been doing this week is adding water so this stuff is incredible and if you if you have the chance you should really try this out okay the next product that i'm gonna talk about is the hair chemist macadamia oil hair serum this is the stuff that I was talking about uh, just now that I mixed with the Miss Jessie's um, Transitioner's Magic, right? Sis, wherever you are right now in your life, I want you to pause this video and I want you to go buy this. 
I don't know where you can find it from. Go look in Walmart. Go look in the beauty supply store. Look on Amazon. Look online. I, find it and buy it. Now. Right now. I'll wait. Let me just tell y'all. This stuff is so amazing, okay? My hair, I have type 4 hair, as you guys know. My hair has never been as shiny as it is with this stuff, okay? This stuff works so well on my hair, and it really does add shine and add moisture. I feel like it really does protect my hair as well. I highly, 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 highly recommend this stuff to any and everybody that's watching this. Go tell your mama, go tell your sister, go tell your brother, go tell your stepmama, go tell your baby mama. I don't care who you tell. Go tell them to get it. Okay? Um, the next product I'm going to talk about is my Mega Growth Deep Conditioner. And this is what this one looks like. I'm sorry for the glare, y'all. I'm in front of the window. But, um... <clears throat> This is the, in a previous video, I used a hair chemist um, deep conditioner and recently I've been using this one. I don't really, I read up on deep conditioners because I wasn't using them before and, um, you know, just to see what, what are they supposed to do? Is it necessary for me to put them in my natural hair regimen? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And so I went ahead and I got this one because I saw someone on YouTube raving about it. And they were like, oh, you know, it's really cheap and it works really well. Cheap works well. Since that's right up my alley. So I went and got it. And um, let me just tell you. like, I hate the way this smells so much. I hate the way it smells. Fun fact about Jordan, okay? I hate orange. I hate orange. I hate the color. I hate the smell. I hate the fruit. I hate the name. It's terrible. And this is just, just, and like, mm -mm. as for as for the product itself, um, when I first started, like it really does define my hair. I'll start with saying that it does a very good job of defining my hair. My hair has never been more defined than when I put this in it. So I was very impressed there. As far as um, adding more moisture to my hair, making it feel softer, I didn't see any noticeable difference with this deep conditioner, nor did I see any with the last deep conditioner. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or maybe just, maybe deep conditioners just don't rock with me, you know? But I really can't tell a noticeable difference in the way my hair feels and the way, like, the way my moisture, hair moisture, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not speaking English. But, um, yeah, so I'm not really, I want to say I'm looking to replace it. I feel like it does something good. But if you guys do have any Holy Grail deep conditioners that you would recommend to me, sis, don't be stingy, okay? Just... Leave them in the comments. Help us assist out. So the next product that I'm going to talk about is my Eco Styler um, Gel. And I have the olive oil one. Um, this gel, I like it for one thing. And then I ain't too crazy about it for the other. So let me just explain that. So with this gel, I actually use this gel for my wash and goes. And I love this gel for wash and goes. I've seen some people say that um, the gel gives them a crunchy hold or leaves behind residue. It doesn't do that for me at all. My wash and goes are always um, shiny. They're always bouncy. My curls are always defined when I use this gel. I have no problems with this gel when I use it for wash and goes. The problem that I have with this gel, it does not, it doesn't lay my edges, like at all, okay? I usually wet my edges first, so I would like spray water on my hand, rub it together, and then, you know, put, add it in my hair, and then I would add the gel and try and smooth my edges down, and then I would use um, a sock and 
tie my hair down until it's time to go, until I finish getting ready, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. By the time I get outside, get into my car, and drive to wherever I am going, sis, what edges? Like, what sleek edges? They don't even exist anymore. I don't. <laughs> I do not get any sleekness out of this. I used it for my, I just started. Mm -mm. I would recommend this for wash and goes. I don't recommend it for edges. I mean, it might work for you. It might. I just feel like it just don't work for me. Not for my edges at least. We ain't gonna get into it. So, the next product that I'm going to talk about is this Frizz Buster Serum, and this is what this one looks like. Um, it says that it eliminates dry, frizzy, damaged hair, and it's also alcohol-free. It straightens, smooths, moisturizes, and shines. I use this um, stuff when I'm taking out any style that I have in. Um, I add it to my fingertips just to, you know, eliminate frizz. And it really does a very good job of that. Um, whenever I take out my mini twists with this, braids, whatever I have going on, I never, ever, 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 ever get any frizz when I use this. As far as add shine, no. I don't get any shine from this. Um, I also use this on my weaves though. And when I do use it on my weave, I definitely do get a lot of shine and it eliminates frizz there as well. But for my natural hair, I only get frizz elimination from this product. Okay, so the next um, products I'm gonna be talking about are tools. So <clears throat> the first tool that I'm gonna talk about is my paddle brush. This is what it looks like. This is a regular paddle brush. Um, when I first started going natural, I saw a lot of people raving about the Denman brush. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, maybe I should try one, maybe I should get one. And I was in the beauty supply store one day and I was just rubbing the brush on my hand like this and I was like it feels a lot like my paddle brush the teeth look you know like my paddle brush they're not as long but you know maybe I can just use my paddle brush save some coins out here and that's what I've been doing and my paddle brush does a really good job of detangling my hair um, I usually use this when my hair is soaking wet and I'm uh, in the shower and I just detangle from the tips to the roots and it doesn't pull my hair out I haven't experienced any breakage any snags any snaps or anything like that um, I do very lightly finger detangle before I use my paddle brush just to get out any um, you know knots that might snag but for the most part my paddle brush really does a good job of detangling my hair the next product that I'm going to talk about is my Home. Um, this is just a regular old rat tail comb. I do not comb my hair at all. I don't comb my natural hair at all. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never have I ever combed my natural hair. I really only finger detangle and use a powder brush. I don't even use a wide tooth comb. <laughs> um, I really only use this comb for this part right here. Um, just to part my hair where it needs to be parted, um, you know, in a straight line and a curved line whatever just so I can get clean parts good clean parts that's what I use my rat tail comb for and the next product that I have here is my handy dandy shampoo brush y'all let me tell y'all this story okay so this summer you know I really got into watching a whole bunch of wash day videos I don't know what it is I don't know, it's just hypnotizing. I really like watching people wash their hair. Call me crazy, whatever. But I'm watching wash their videos and everybody and their mama have that little brush that has um, the white teeth and it vibrates, right? And so like that's what their shampoo brush is. And they, um, they were just raving about it. They were just raving about this brush and how amazing it was and how it gives you head massages and it helps promote growth and stimulates your scalp and all this amazing big words that I couldn't even say. 
So I'm just watching them astounded. I'm, what? No. Oh. So, you know, I'm, wow, a head massage stimulating growth and follicles in the scalp. Sign me up. So I click the link to this brush, G. They talking about $40. In American money? Mm-mm. I'm broke. I'm broke and I'm in college. I ain't got it like that. You know, some people, they they got it like that. They could spend $40 on a brush. You know, they got, they out here got money to blow. They just getting it in. They letting it fall all on your skin. I can't do that. I'm, mm -mm. I can't. I was too broke to even look at the link for that long. So I had to cut that off so I kept on watching my little wash day videos and um, I came across a video where one of the girls had a shampoo brush that looked like this and so I was like okay you know that's new I've never seen that one before but you know it does all the same things except for vibrates and she's like oh yeah you know I got it from my local beauty supply store for 99 cents say no more sis I paused that video so quick hopped in my car skirt skirt drop top baby i left tire marks on the street and i went and got me a shampoo brush okay because i wanted one i want my um hair follicles to be stimulated and i want to promote hair growth in my hair too but not for 40 dollars so i just went ahead and got a regular one i got it i got it in blue because blue is my favorite color and um I mean, it works really, really well for me. Whenever I, I think I used it for the first time last week, I wanna say. And I was really surprised at how well my scalp, like, what am I trying to say? I was really surprised at how well it worked on my scalp. Um, usually when I wash my hair, I just use my fingers. But this, I could really feel a difference in how clean my hair was. It really did like get down in there and massage my scalp as well as lift a lot of the dirt and um, product buildup that I had on my scalp and on my edges and on my hair. So I was really, really impressed with this little 99 cent tool and I really love it, okay? So, if you can't afford $40 like your girl, 99 cent. <laughs> so the next tool that I'm going to show you is the last tool of my collection here. Enough said. 